Hello, everyone. I'm Zixing Su from the University of Tokyo. I'm very happy to present our paper, Leap Learner, Customizable Silent and Speech Interactions on Mobile Devices. We propose a few short transfer learning framework that enables private communication between users and smartphones with customizable vocabulary in arbitrary language. Over the past decade, voice assistants have become incredibly popular, offering an intuitive way to access devices in different, in different situations. However, despite their convenience, voice-based interactions still face social acceptance issues, and they can struggle to recognize commands in noisy environments. Other problems, such as fatigue and inaccessibility, also make them less user-friendly. Silent speech interfaces have emerged as a promising alternative to tackle the challenges in voice user interfaces. Researchers propose various approaches to exploit non-acoustic signals such as neural muscular signals, electroplatography, ultrasound imaging, and RGB cameras. Among these, we are particularly interested in the reading approach because it can be easily implemented on smartphones without requiring any obtrusive head-mounted devices. Additionally, its rich, info, uh, its rich visual information holds great potential for achieving high accuracy. However, most previous reading systems, which uses a train from scratch models, requires the user to provide a large amount of training data. This process is tedious and time-consuming, and the model can only be trained on GPU servers, which, are, which is also expensive. As a result, the user would not be able to use custom commands, leading to very limited vocabulary. Furthermore, such biased datasets that are, collectively, that, that are collected intensively from laboratory settings makes the model vulnerable to environment changes which means its performance can degrade significantly as the data domain shifts, shifts over time. Therefore, we think that there are three key challenges for real-world operating systems. First of all, we need to minimize the user burden of the data collection, making it much easier for new users to start and allow them to add custom commands. Finally, the, user sh uh, the system should be highly robust to different environments and interaction factors because mobile phones have been everyday devices and can be used in various scenarios, bright outdoors or dark indoors, city or walking. Therefore, we propose to combine pre-trained models uh, with in-situ facial transfer learning. First, we pre-train an encoder model on large deep reading dataset, LRW. Using contrastive learning, it learns efficient visual speech representations in a semi-supervised manner. Specifically, by using a similarity matrix to maximize the similarities between samples of the same words and minimize the similarities between samples of different words, the model learns an embedding space in which similar samples are close to each other while dissimilar, dissimilar ones are far apart. Moreover, the, the diverse data in LRW covers a wide range of lighting conditions and view angles. Therefore, the learned representations not only have strong generalization ability, but are also robust to various environment uh, configurations. To evaluate the model's performance, especially in complicated environment configurations, we collected a real-world dataset covering different lighting conditions, user postures, and holding gestures. We visualized the latent space using UMAP for dimension reduction. As the figure shows here, the model effectively, effectively captures speech-related visual information and the recording and condition only has a subtle influence on the features. To minimize the user effort in command registration, we introduce a voice to lip technique that incorporates speech recognition to automatically learn lip reading from the voice input. When the user speaks a new command aloud, Hello, Alexa. What's the news today? The system will remember the lip movements and prompt the text recognized from the voice signal as a label. With the efficient representations extracted from the pre trained encoder, we leverage a simple logistic regression classifier to learn and update the decision boundary in the embedding space every time the user enrolled a new command. In real-time recognition, the user's speech is projected into the same latent space and predicted, predicted by the classifier. Since we free the weight of the pre-training encoder all the time, it is also trivial to fine-tune the model by incrementally only updating the linear classifier with the new data. To evaluate the model's performance, we conducted a live one condition out test on the collected dataset. 
The results show that our approach can robustly achieve high F1 score in unseen environments, outperforming previous supervised, uh, supervised methods by a, marge, uh, by, by a huge margin with much less data. We also investigated the effect of the number of commands and the number of shots. The cross-validation was performed in a leave six condition of manner, which means we only use data from one condition for training and test model on all the other conditions. As a result, the one-shot model can recognize 25 commands with an F1 uh, score of 89%, and it learns efficiently from more shots. We also observed that more commands will, uh, would be more challenging to achieve a high accuracy, but this gap can be filled, can, uh, can be filled by adding a few uh, more training samples. We also leveraged the lib embeddings to enable visual uh, keyword spotting for hands-free activation. By, enro by enrolling two special commands, keyword, for example, hello Alexa, and non-speaking libs, we can use a slide window to, continue to continuously detect when the user started and ended seeing a command by computing the cosine similarity between the real-time input and the keyword samples. In this way, the user can activate the system in a hands-free manner by saying the keyword. Here we demonstrate the similarity be, uh, when the user is saying different phrases. The model can efficiently detect the keyword and reject negative samples. We demonstrate seamless and reliable silent speech interaction with the prototype on iPhone. Deep learner can cope with shaking videos captured in bright sunlight. And it is also robust to camera distortions and different view angles. Performing well on dark and low resolution videos in hands free and noisy scenarios. To achieve, a, uh, to achieve an improving performance, we propose an incremental learning scheme to gradually learn from new available samples. To so initiate the system, the user first record keyword and non speaking samples to enable the keyword spotting function. In the registration mode, the user speak aloud to define new command. In the active learning mode, the system will prompt it to solicit, uh, solicit conf confirmation for each re recognition and use that knowledge to improve the model. Since we uh, fine tune the model using a lightweight linear classifier, it can be up, uh, updated on, on device in no more than two seconds. In the on-demand learning mode, the user can correct misrecognitions at any time. Therefore, the user start to use silent speech with minimal data and trade off the performance and effort by switching between the learning mode. In the user study, we recruited 16 participants of different native languages. The participants first decided the command set, which consists of 10 predefined commands, 10 user descriptive commands with an illustration as hint, and 10 user created commands without any guidance. Then they registered the commands in a virtual manner. We were also curious about the implications of using voice speech for command registration, so we asked, uh, asked the participants to perform a voice trial before five sent trials. After all trials, they were able to use the system freely for 10 minutes for collecting subjective feedback. We observed that a bunch of interesting commands appeared in the user study. The diversity of the commands suggests that the uh, expressiveness of speech interactions is an essential demand, and our user study has a good coverage of different languages, phrasings, and purposes. Quantitative results show that Leap Learner has a good and improvable performance in keyword spotting and command recognition and can achieve high accuracy regardless of the phrasing and language. Finally, we collected subjective feedback using a system usability score questionnaire. The result indicates that our system is easy to use and easy to learn. Since our system demonstrates strong ability to generalize to dif different view angles, we also explored its feasibility in variable contexts. We devised a prototype in a, for a preliminary test. For, by collecting a dataset from one of the authors using the same command set in the model test. Um, a cross-validation result suggests that our method can also adapt to profile faces captured using fisheye camera, showing the potential of various VR applications. In the user study, we also observed a participant tried to register four kinds of facial expressions for, uh, as commands, and nine of 11 tries were correctly recognized. We mentioned that Leap Learner can also be used to monitor emotional health by de detecting various e facial expressions. Like any other paper, 
our work has limitations. First, the number of concurrently available commands is still limited. Second, there are several command pairs that are so similar that it is difficult to di uh, differentiate with, uh, even with multiple samples. For, uh, future work should investigate efficient solutions to disambiguate similar commands and enable large vocabulary depleting. That's all. Thank you for listening.